Uh, Russia has not owned Alaska for many, many years. Alaska is, in fact, a U.S. state, okay? Alaskans are no more... This is, I'm not even going to go into it. They're American. Now, this is ridiculous. They did this specifically to exclude. However, what if... And I would never do this because I think this is kind of dickish. What if I was to say, I want to open up a yoga class that includes only white men and white women between the ages of 18 to 50 and they must be straight they must be politically aligned to the libertarian party and they must not be i don't even want anybody very tan i'd rather it was a very very white irish catholic crowd would that be okay no that'd be a jerk now, I have nothing against them saying everyone is welcome, but you have to realize that many of us are lesbian, bisexual, gay, queer, blah, 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 blah. Okay, that's fine. I have no problem with that. But when you exclude other people, you are, in fact, racist. Teresa Wang, good name for this dick. That's exactly what I mean. I hope it offends her. It's a class for people of color, so we would be coming to that class knowing that we were really clear about who we're asking to come to class. You are a racist bigot. And Wang said that uh, they've never had people of color not show up, so they don't know what they would do. Well, let me tell you what. If the roles were to be reversed, according to Morrison, and a whites-only session were to be held... People would, quote, lose their shit. You know what? This is ridiculous. This is racism from the other side. And this matters because they want us all fighting each other so that we will be too cowardly and, for that matter, just too stupid to call out our leaders when they are manipulating us into things like quantitative easing and wars in Iraq and on and on and on to accepting illegals as they swarm our borders, take our jobs, and take all their money back to where they came from when they retire. Kid Daniels, PrisonPlanet.com. Julian Moore claimed that the founding fathers would support gun control. I told you we had dumb D's today. I don't even know who this hag is, but it's okay. The Hollywood actress made the statement while announcing that she was launching a gun control group held by with Michael Bloomberg. She thinks our founding fathers would support gun control. Listen to this bonehead. With all of these rights that we have in our Constitution, they come a great deal of responsibility, and I think the Founding Fathers would agree with me, she told People magazine. I think the Founding Fathers would think that you're an idiot, personally. Not quite. The Second Amendment states that the right of the people to keep and bear arms, quote, shall not be infringed, and placing restrictions on someone's right to do something is, in fact, an infringement on that right. Shazam, Sparky! Just as censoring someone is an infringement upon his free speech. Moore also claimed that she believed that the Second Amendment should be equated to exercising the Second Amendment is no different than getting a driver's license. For cars, says this great mind, you have to have training and you have to have a license and you have to wear seatbelts and you have to have airbags and you have to have all these things in place and reduced fatalities unbelievably. And it is totally an unregulated industry at first. I feel like something that is very sensible and straightforward can be done also with guns. But just as you need the government's permission to engage in free speech, you also don't need the license to own a firearm. It's a right. It's not a privilege. A distinction that the Founding Fathers emphasized over and over again. Americans have the right, that is God-given right, to an advantage of being armed unlike the citizens of other countries whose governments are afraid to trust the people with arms. The author of the Second Amendment was Charles Mad uh, James Madison, and that is what he just said. Thomas Jefferson said, No free man shall ever be barred from the use of arms. Similarly, Patrick Henry pointed out that the great object is of every man be armed, every man who is able to have a gun. Therefore, Julian Moore is included in our dumdy of the day, whoever the hell she is, and I don't really care. Uh, Steve Watson, PrisonPlanet.com, mass panic at a Texas school after student says gum. That kind of gum. Steve Watson, prison planet, a school in Hayes County, Texas, has sent into a state of panic on Wednesday when a student asked for some gum. Because the word gum sounds like the word gun, well, 
Panic. KCEN News reports that the student at Lehman, I went to Lehman Junior High, it was almost this stupid, not quite. A student at Lehman High School asked a classmate for some gum, but the student who overheard thought he was asking for a gun. Cue the frothing insanity as the search for the weapon ensued. Of course, no gun was ever found. Yeah, they just didn't ask the kid what he said. They probably did and just ignored him. Hayes County School District spokesman Tim Savoy has insisted that the school did not go into lockdown, but did admit that administration held students in their extended class periods to investigate the concern with little or no disruption to the schedule. In other words, they pretty much had the whole school searched, gave it a name that wasn't lockdown, and did it all because the student asked for some gum. Now, like, come on, you know damn well the student told them explicitly that he said gum. This was something done on purpose. This is something that zero tolerance takes us. What we need to do is we te need to teach our kids gun responsibility. We need to make it an, uh, an option where you can take gun training in school. We need to teach people respect for a gun. We need to teach people what happens to you when you use a gun the way you shouldn't. We need to take them to prisons and let them see what happens when you abuse your Second Amendment right. Let them talk to somebody that hurts somebody illegally with a gun. You give them both kinds of education, and I promise you, almost everyone I'm talking about, all these kids, will grow up with a much better grasp of what the Second Amendment means than the way that we're doing it now. And friends, if you agree with that, then you can donate to me very easily at the correct views at hotmail.com. Every penny you give to me goes towards a better show, and I appreciate that because I want to bring everyone the best show that I can. Hopefully I just did. Good night, friends, and God bless.